Hi there. So we are here at uh, Numaish or the exhibition. As you can see, it's right behind me. Uh, we are yet to go in, and uh, we are here with uh, a family. And Vishal is not very excited about it. <laughs> so. I think most of it is going to be on voiceover only because uh, there's way too much crowd and I don't want to take off my uh, mask. So let's see what we stumble across. Just near the entrance, we found these clickers and the ball that has um, elastic attached to it. Nostalgia. And as we go in, uh, there are several little stalls and vendors. Um, and in this, primarily you can see like uh, jewelry, trunk jewelry, like uh, earrings and all that, and also a few clothing items and a whole lot of toys. On the other side, though, there are quite a few snack stalls like uh, your cotton candy, etc. As we enter inside Numaish, we are faced with a whole lot of stores and stalls here. Uh, there are quite a few clothing stalls as soon as you enter, like you can see. These kurtas primarily were cotton and at a really good price, but you really need to look into the quality as in like if there is any stain or anything. And there were these bottoms as well. The palazzos and bottoms, they were really nice too and very good for the summer. These night pants or pajama pants were $1.99 and uh, they seemed quite warm to be honest. So I think this would make a good night suit for your winters. And here you have a whole lot of kurta bottoms. So these were 150 rupees each and you had so many colors over there. But yeah, you need to make sure you're selecting and going through the whole thing properly. Here you have 200 buck kurtas and these were also pretty good. At 449 or 450 bucks, you had like uh, kurta sets as well. So I got this kurta set, uh, the kurta and the bottom. It was a nice teal and navy blue color, which I really liked. Here you see a whole lot of pillow covers and cushion covers etc so these usually we get from here only because uh, for the extra pillows etc they do provide a good deal and uh, post that we just went exploring here you can see kurtas again so there were so many kurtas in this year's uh, uh, numayesh or the exhibition basically and you can see the collection over here so you had kurta palazzos, kurta bottom sets and kurta and skirts as well. These bags also looked pretty good. Then we went into this Bhagalpur silk and uh, cotton collection uh, stall where we found quite good uh, salwar uh, suit materials basically. These were cotton and were around uh, 1000 rupees so we got this brown and sorry, grey and uh, blue colour one and as well as one cream and maroon slash red coloured one. These were 1000 rupees each. Then to the Bengal cotton store where we were looking for saris. So my grandmom really loves these saris. And these were completely cotton, Bengal cotton, and uh, you need to know how to haggle in these places. So the previous uh, salwar suit also you need to bargain as well as for these uh, saris. The saris uh, was initially quoted to us at like 1200 rupees or something and we managed to get it down to 600 rupees per sari. So finally we then decided to choose uh, two saris this blue colored one and another one which was uh, a green and black based uh, they costed us 600 rupees each these were uh, stoles that were available for like a hundred bucks each and I got one and as you can see there are a whole lot of kurtas and different types of stuff we were trying to find a place to eat 
There were quite a few stalls for ice cream here as well, but uh, we preferably avoided it because we didn't want to get sick in the sweltering heat. Uh, we were looking for a place where we could have a substantial meal, and we were passing through these stalls that had all sort of cotton, cotton items, and stuff like that. There was also a prestige stall with uh, kitchen equipment and appliances and stuff like that. It's always been a tradition for us to eat mirchi bhaji whenever we go to the exhibition. So we were trying to find where we can, uh, you know, locate the stall which has it. And there was there was a chart stall also on the way. I actually saw the Bikaner Wala stall for the first time here, and there was a pista house up there as well. We got some tokens for food, and as you can see, we are getting the mirchi bhaji over here. So we are here having mirchi bhaji. Vishal, how is it? So one word review for you there. And uh, yeah, there's green chutney and mirchi bhaji. So we're just having that. There were some super fresh jalebis also being made, so we decided to get that for dessert as well. Another thing that we got over here was the samosa chaat. And here is the paneer tikka that was also available, so we got one of that as well. So Vishal is trying the paneer tikka. How is it, Vishal? Nice paneer tikka. Nice. But seventy bucks for two pieces of paneer tikka is not worth it. Is what I feel. So this is how it looks like. Finally, we have our jalebi, and now Vishal is going to try that. Is it nice? It's crispy, and it's like a jalebi. Crunchy. Yeah. Let me also try the jalebi now. Very crunchy, like Vishal said. Extremely sweet, like a jalebi. And that's the food nama for uh, the Nampali exhibition. So after we were done eating, we were just browsing the stalls that were near the food stall. Uh, there was the stall with denim jackets and stuff like that. These were some kurta that that were available for two fifty rupees and bottoms also. And this was a snack stall that was selling Telangana pickles and snacks. So these were puttere kulu, which is like very traditional. There was mamidi tandra or am papad as well. 
and sown papdi as well as quite a few snacks as you can see so these snacks were made with millets and he was explaining that uh, they were made with jowar bajra ragi and everything so there are sweets as well as uh, salty or savory snacks and here these kurtas were actually kind of branded kurtas because i could see that they were they had that leva tag on them and they were being sold 250 for one or i think uh, 900 for four or 1000 for four uh, they were good but uh, they had a few manufacturing defects so we are done with i think 25% of the exhibition ground Yeah, and we are completely knackered. I don't think so. We are able to complete the whole thing in one day. You definitely need a good three, four days to, you know, fully experience it. And Vishal is like drinking water, recuperating. <laughs> so I think uh, that's it for the day. And uh, do leave uh, in the comments uh, down below what you like in the Na Nampali exhibition. And also, by the way, Nampali exhibition is the All India Industrial Exhibition in Hyderabad. and um, like share and subscribe to our channel that's the thing nice time to end the video see you all in the next one bye bye